Well, Fatima, in the last few minutes, President Zelensky has arrived by a convoy to the South Lawn of the White House behind me, where he was greeted on a red carpet by President Biden and his wife. Why is Zelensky here? Why has he made this surprise trip? Well, to thank President Biden and the Americans for all the support they have given him thus far and to send this clear message. Thank you, but keep it coming. And that's what President Biden intends to do. Later, he will announce another $1.9 billion dollar package to include America's crucial Patriot missile system its most advanced anti-ballistic uh, weapon that uh, Ukraine has been crying out for in recent weeks to combat the relentless barrage of Russian missiles that have been crippling its infrastructure and energy grid. On top of that, Congress is set to pass another massive $45 billion uh, package to Ukraine in military and economic aid, all of which will be music to the ears of President Zelensky as he makes this rather bold, risky trip here to Washington, D.C. today. Uh, here's how we got here today. On the eve of his trip to Washington, President Zelensky visited troops in the eastern city of Bakhmut yesterday, close to the war's latest front line and the scene of the heaviest fighting in recent weeks. At one point, he was handed a Ukrainian flag signed by soldiers, and he pledged to deliver it to Joe Biden alongside a message that Washington's support is welcome, but not enough. All Ukraine wants for Christmas, according to Zelensky's advisor, is weapons, weapons, weapons. Top of the list are these Patriot surface-to-air missile systems needed to help repel Russian airstrikes that have crippled civilian infrastructure in recent months, prompting rolling blackouts as winter bites. And the White House has finally agreed to supply them, part of a new $2 billion package to bolster the country's defences. That's on top of a mammoth $45 billion worth of emergency assistance set to be approved by Congress this week, which will take total American aid to Ukraine past the $100 billion mark this year. While Zelensky looks to the US, Vladimir Putin has been tightening his relationship with Belarus. Pictures released today showing the latest joint military drills after the Russian president's rare trip to Minsk to meet President Lukashenko on Monday. In a meeting with his defense chiefs earlier, Putin struck a familiar tone, making veiled nuclear threats and pledging unlimited financial support to the war effort. We have no finance restrictions. This country, its government, gives everything that the army asks for. Christmas in Kyiv will be a dark one this year. Even the lights in Santa's grotto are being powered by bicycle. Ukrainians are holding out for the goodwill of allies and the gift of military hardware that they believe will turn the war in their favor.